Good morning, welcome. Hello everybody, happy, happy Friday to you guys. Uh, for Lychee Friday, Facebook Friday. I love Fridays. Oh my gosh, it's like my most favorite day of the week. Like we made it through another week. It has been a fabulous, beautiful summer week here in Michigan. You guys always have to get the weather update for me. I know it's ridiculous, but I think, um, I don't know, just so ready for summer. We survived the winter and all of a sudden, poo, summer is here. So yay, hello, Miss Michelle, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So you guys, I'm already like looking around my um, table. Crafter math may have actually happened before we've even started, I feel like. There is an awful lot of good stuff to show you guys here on this table, so I'm super duper excited to share, especially I have been playing, I know this is a favorite of so many of you all, and so I thought, okay, we're gonna be playing with this uh, suite and this bundle of products today. So we have the, it's called the Sweet as a Peach stamp set, and then the Peach dies. So you can kind of see kind of the outline images there. And then, so obviously many of the images on the stamp set, you can die cut with the dies as well. And then some awesome, awesome sentiments in the stamp set, like, have a peachy day. That one's kind of cute, huh? Sweet as a peach. And then there's a happy birthday and a thanks so much. So those are the bigger ones. And then some teeny tiny ones you can kind of build some sentiments with. For example, this one says your as, you could say sweet as a peach, right? It's your day or have a peachy day. Let's celebrate you. There's a teeny tiny little hello and friend right there. Um, thanks for being as sweet as a peach. How about ho hope your day is um, as sweet as a peach and to a sweet friend. So, hey, Jamie. Hey, Nikki. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. So, yeah, awesome stamp set. Love, like, the peach imagery and then all the fun sentiments. We've got a good combo pack there, too. And then, like I said, the dies that coordinate and will cut out images. And then there's even this teeny tiny little label kind of die right there, too, that you use to cut out some of those small sentiments in the stamp set. So, hey, Sharon. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So, we're going to be playing with this today. It's actually my class to go to. I'm going to show you guys that. I just uploaded. Hey, Teresa. I just uploaded the video to YouTube this morning. I've um, been working my tail off this week trying to like, I don't know what it is. You go away on vacation. This is what happens, right? Um, <clears throat> and I was all super relaxed and I kind of just like eased on like back into things. And then all of a sudden, like no more easing into things. Like, I don't know. I think we got back Monday night. So maybe by Wednesday, I was like, okay, there's so much to do. And I feel like I've been like the hamster on the treadmill, like trying to like keep up with everything. So I'm just so excited because I've been like wanting to play with this bundle. Hey, Becky, hello. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And thank you for sharing the video already. That is awesome. So yeah, super excited that I got to play with this. We're going to play with it on Facebook Live. You guys, if you haven't seen it yet or play with it yet, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it. The paper is beautiful also in this suite too. So I'll show you that in just a little while. So um, let's see what else is going on. Ooh, um, let me find my little, my catalog here. So you guys have seen, I've been posting, hey Philomena and Susan, hello, welcome, on our Facebook group, the mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. The last chance product list has been announced and there are a bunch of things in here that are like 50% off. So make sure that you get what you need out of here. Don't wait, I always say it, right? Don't wait till the last minute because especially those big um, sale items, those things that are like 50% off, those are gonna go like hotcakes now, right? So get those while you can. You already kind of knew what was going to retire because if it didn't end up in our annual catalog, so if it was in the mini catalog and it didn't end up in the annual catalog, that means it was retiring. But we didn't know what kind of sales we were gonna have. So now we have all the sale prices on everything in this mini catalog. So we have just a few weeks, the end of June, because I want to double check. This one officially goes through. Oh my gosh, I cannot read that. Let me, let me see if I, if I use my glasses, I can see. Yep, June 30th it was. I wasn't sure, you know, sometimes they go a couple days into the next month. But June 30th, this is it. Anything in here that's retiring, you will not be able to get it after June 30th. Sale stuff, Get it as soon as you can because it will go quickly, right? So I'll keep reminding you guys about that. I um, <clears throat> There's a spreadsheet, a PDF that Stampin' Up! puts together. I put that link right here on our Facebook group this week. Sometimes I find it's easiest 
to like have the catalog in front of me with that list because it's in page number order. Um, and so you can kind of go through and like page by page by page. Hey Susie, hello, welcome. You can kind of go through and figure out, ooh, I don't have that, I wanna get that order, that sort of thing. There's a new host code for June too, so I'll give you guys that, it's also on my blog. So if you're gonna do your shopping online, make sure you use that host code too. Um, so yeah, but just don't wait. Get your last chance stuff while you can, okay? Um, oh, and speaking of last chance stuff, I have to show you guys, this is like, um, spoiler alert, if you are in any of my clubs, I made a cute little club member treat for everybody this month, um, featuring some of our retiring um, product from the um, January to June mini catalog. So if you don't want to um, have the surprise spoiled, look away for a second um, while I show you this cute little treat and then I want to show you the products that I use to make it. So anyway, it's just this fun little treat box and I kind of went with like the red, white, and blue theme thinking of um, 4th of July, which will be coming up. I'm not rushing the month of June because you can't rush any month in the summer, right? But before we know it, 4th of July will be here. And plus, maybe you want to have some ideas ahead of time. So this is a cute little, we've got, it says, you are amazing, right? So yeah, Philomena, this is, you're, you will have one of these coming with your class to go kit if you haven't gotten that yet. Okay, so then this was what kind of um, inspired me. These are like little Debbie cakes. It's a brownie with some frosting on the top, but they've it's kind of in a um, 4th of July red, white, and blue theme. So you can see just that little. So it's just a little teeny tiny box and you just kind of slide it and open it up. And so you don't have to ruin it, right? I love this idea too. This is my favorite thing to do is make a little box. You can take that yummy treat out, enjoy it yourself, put something else in there, re-gift it. I love that idea too. I never want to throw these things out. I'm always like, I have to use this to give it to somebody for something else. So anyway, I love though, can you guys, I, we use the um, blue, the Knight of Navy Baker's Twine that's part of the Well Suited Baker's Twine Combo Pack. That is retiring from that January to June mini catalog. The stamp set is the You Are Amazing stamp set. So you can see this one right here. So there is the You Are Amazing. And then we use the little stars right there too. So it's great, right? Perfect for 4th of July. Also love the other sentiments with the thanks, the happy birthday, congrats, and then hip hip hooray, three cheers for you with that fun like um, word bubble there too, right? So great stamp set. This one is retiring out of that catalog. It's $21 too. I've already gone through and priced everything that is retiring out of my previous annual catalog and the January to June mini catalog because I'm going to do, off on a tangent here, I'm going to do a buy one, get one free event locally here. Hey, Janina, thanks for joining us. Um, locally here on Wednesday, June 23rd. I should have my, I'm pretty sure that's the day, Wednesday, June 23rd. I think that is the correct day, yeah. So it's here in Alma from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at my new class location at the Peace Lutheran Church at 325 East Warwick Drive. So come on out, shop from all of my retired product. I'm gonna have everything that is retired from previous years. If I have like old stuff, which you never know, there could be something that you just can't live without from that. And then current um, mini catalog and the previous annual catalog, retired product. Actually, mini catalog will not be in there yet now that I think about that, because it's not technically retired until the end of June. So that'll make it into my next bogus go sale, I guess, now that I'm thinking. Yeah, I haven't gone through and done that yet, have I? It's weird. I know why I'm getting like confused because usually everything ends at the end of May and then June 1st, we start with the new annual and mini catalog. Um, and that didn't happen this year. We kind of staggered things where end of April, the annual catalog ended and then end of June, which is late, the mini catalog ended. So I know I'm like trying to get myself on track too. But anyway, yeah, buy one, get one free event. So the how that works, if you're not familiar with my buy one, get one free events too, is you shop from retired product. So say this stamp set was something that you found in the um, retired product. You um, have $21 because that's the value of the stamp set. I price it at full catalog catalog value, even though it's been used, because then you get $21 for free out of um, our next annual catalog. And you still pay the shipping, the sales tax on the new stuff, but that's how it works. So you buy retired product and you get new annual catalog product for free, but you still pay the tax and the shipping. So it's a great deal. It's a great way to get some 
um, retired product and then get some brand new product too. So mark your calendars, Wednesday, June 23rd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll be there all day long. You can stop in and shop whenever you would like. And I'll have new catalog product there on display too. We'll have a couple of make and takes if you wanna play with some new catalog product. Um, yeah, so it'll be a great day. So hopefully you can join us on Wednesday, June 23rd for the buy one, get one free event and the new catalog kickoff. So if you don't already have one of our new annual catalogs, and hopefully I've done my job and most everybody has gotten one of these, but if you don't have one yet, make sure you stop by and pick one up. Or if you're around town and you wanna pick one up off the porch, just send me a message. I can throw one out there on the porch for you too, anytime, okay? All right, uh, oh, so I was gonna show you guys though how, cause this is super simple little box, this treat box. I thought I would kind of show you guys how quick and easy that is to make. Um, yeah, oh, what I also wanna show you guys, well here, yeah, let me just show you. So basically, all right, let me get my grid paper out though so I make sure I give you the correct dimensions here. Cause I think it is, yeah, it's a three and a half by five and a half piece of, this is Knight of Navy cardstock. And then I scored it on all four sides at three quarters of an inch, okay? So super simple. Then, so can you guys kind of see? So three and a half by five scored at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. Then we're just gonna fold this in on all sides, right? Then we are gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut along the score lines at each end up to that intersecting score line, okay? So I'm gonna cut here and here and here, and you guys might not even be able to see this there and there, right? Okay, so that's kind of what the box is looking like, right? And then we are basically going to add adhesive on each of these little tabs. So this one and this one and this one and this one, okay? So once you do that, then when you fold it in, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna fold it in there. I'm gonna fold it in there so you guys can kind of see. Right, that'll be one end and then over here. So again, I have put it on the outside edge. So outside here and outside here. So when I fold this in, that's gonna stick there and on that side and that's it. That's how you make that cute little box. So what I did was I measured the size of the tree and it was basically two by four inches, which is essentially what my box ends up being, a two inch by four inch box. And then I wanted to have three quarters of an inch um, around the outside edges. So I just added one and a half inches on each end. So two plus one and a half is three and a half, right? And then four plus one and a half was five and a half. So that's how I started with my three and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. So you can do that for any little treat that you have make a little box, and then I used, this is some of that um, snail, what is it, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, snail mail, I was thinking that was it. The snail mail designer series paper. So I just, I was looking for anything like red, white, and blue, and this one is red with teeny tiny little hearts on it. So this piece of designer series paper measures four inches by six inches, okay? And then I basically just, wrap it around the box. Sorry, I should have put it together, right? You know what? Nah, it'll. you guys get the idea, right? But basically, I'm just like struggling because the box keeps coming open. Just wrap it and then adhere it on the back, right? And then there is your little belly band and then the box just slides in and out of there. So hopefully that made sense. I, I w all of a sudden I was like, oh, I have to show you guys how to make this because it's so easy and so, Maybe I should have put the thing down, but I think you guys get the idea, right? And I'll do a blog post too. Hey Kay, down in North Carolina. Um, I'll do a blog post on this also, so you guys know um, how to put it together too, if I didn't do a very good job of explaining it right now. But just make sure that you get this cute little snail mail designer series paper. Here's a little bit of a hodgepodge of the paper left too. This is paper that is retiring out of the January to June mini catalog, okay? And then like I said, also the twine, so there's Knight of Navy and then I think Basic Gray in that the men's suite, the well-suited suite, that uh, twine is retiring. And then my stamp set, that you are amazing stamp set. I really do love that stamp set is retiring also. So get those things while you can, ladies. Okay, scooting that out of the way. 
trying to stay, oops, organized, throwing my glasses around. Okay, what else do I wanna show you guys about, or show you guys? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, quick reminder, cause here, um, I thought it ended the extra host benefits with a $250 order. I thought it ended like at the end of May. And so I got in um, to put an order in the other day and I'm like, oh, I can still get the extra $25 free on a $250 order. And so I thought I was like getting away with something at first. And then I realized I looked at, and I'm like, oh no, it actually goes through June 14th. So you still have some time. So for example, I love this idea. If you just recently bought the starter kit, this is a great time to get that first order in if you haven't done that already because if you put a $250 order in, normally you get 10% in host rewards on a $250 order, so that's $25 in free stuff. But right now, through June 14th, they're throwing in an extra $25 in free stuff. So $250 order, you get $50 in free product, anything you want. You can get the host items out of the back of either of the catalogs or if you don't need any of those things, you get anything else that you would like out of the catalog, anything you'd like. So $50 free on a $250 uh, order. Plus you also get at least 20% off of your order, right? If you're at Bronze Elite, you get 25% discount on your order too. So it's a great time to put that big order in. I know there's tons and tons of stuff. It's funny because sometimes I'm like, oh, $250 order, that's a lot. But then when you make your wish list, that is like just kind of barely like, Barely like, yeah, getting things crossed off the list, right? Isn't that scary? But it seems to be the way it is. So just know that you've got a little more time to get that free host, 25 free host dollars on a $250 order, okay? Uh, okay, let's see, what else, what else? Let me, oh, just quick reminder, because I already, um, we've had some posts, some sharing on our Facebook group of projects that you guys have made for this super summer giveaway drawing. So I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. So I wanna do a quick reminder because I'm hoping to get lots and lots of sharing all summer long of projects that you guys have been making. So as I mentioned last week, starting on June 1st, which was just on Tuesday, I am doing the super summer giveaway drawing and it runs through the end of August. So August 31st, you get entries into the drawing all summer long. I am watching all summer long and putting entries in the drawing one for each event that you attend, which also includes getting the class to go kit. So that's attending, basically ordering a class to go kit, any of those three months. Two entries if you spend at least $50 and that's either online or at class or just sending an order to me. Two entries for each um, picture of a project that you post to our Facebook group using the hashtag super summer giveaway, which that has been so fun to see the posts already coming through. So thank you for sharing you guys. I love that two entries every time you post a project that you've made. Um, another two entries. If you bring a new guest to class, three entries, if you join a club, which includes paper pumpkin and in color club, I'm still accepting um, people into the in color club. So if you've been thinking, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. You should definitely get into the in color club. You get all those fabulous new in colors and all of the products in them spread out over five months. Um, it's $48 per month. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $9 for the priority mail shipping. Okay. I'll have the link for um, that in color club sign up um, in the details above this YouTube video after I upload it um, this afternoon. You also get five entries if you purchase the starter kit. So I have a feeling um, generally during celebration, which is gonna be August and September, um, they're probably gonna do another um, starter kit deal starting probably at the beginning of August. So keep that in mind. It's always a great deal though. You always get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. So it's always a great deal if you're thinking about putting an order in of $100 or more, get the starter kit instead because you get that $25 for free, essentially, no shipping, and then you can get 20% off of all of your orders after that. So it's truly always a great deal. Sometimes they just like sweeten the pot a little bit more, which I'm thinking will probably be happening, happening in August when celebration happens again, which we've never had that before either. Two celebrations in one year. That is very, very cool. I'm excited because actually as demonstrators, 
So for example, if you bought the starter kit right now, you're a demonstrator, then you'll actually be able to pre-order and pre-earn celebration rewards in July instead of having to wait um, as a customer until August too. So something to think about. Then last way to get entries into the super summer giveaway drawing is five entries if you hold a private party or class, and we can do that right over at the Peace Lutheran Church if you don't wanna have it at your house. Love to do that with you anytime. Get some friends together and craft and make cute stuff right? Doesn't that sound like fun? So yeah, lots and lots of ways to earn entries in the drawing. I've been posting about this too. Post your projects. That's the easiest way to get entries into the drawing. And I'm going to give some fun new stuff away, most likely from our um, new, that'll be August, July, July, August to December, the mini, the holiday catalog, right? We'll have some fun new product to give away in September for the super summer giveaway drawing. Okay. But did I talk fast enough? because I have so much I want to share with you guys. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to fit it all in. Okay, so I think we did that. And okay, oh, oh, I also have one designer series paper share left. If anybody wants it, I um, a couple more people took them and so I have one left. So if you want to get a quarter of a pack of all of the new designer series paper in our most recent annual catalog, um, I think it's $42, $9 additional shipped to you. Let me know. I will include the link again above the YouTube or the Facebook live video here, okay? Um, okay, I think we are ready, right? I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Yeah, are we ready to do our first drawing? Yeah, let's do our first drawing. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm staying on track so I don't miss anything. Okay, let's get these things over. I need, I need a sip of water. One moment, please. Mm. So it's supposed to be like eight, high 80s, 90 degrees this weekend. Hoping to get a friend around the corner has a pool. So my sister and I are hoping to go spend some time at the pool this weekend. So I got to work on my tan again. I got a little bit of a tan in Maui and I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose my tan. So I got to, but it takes a long time because you got to wear a lot of sunscreen and like, you know, do it right. So yeah, but I'm hoping to just go relax at the pool some this weekend in between working, I'm sure too. So, okay, all right. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are doing our first drawing for the, I love, I still have it in this like little um, poof here. Our in color ribbon, aren't these? I just love like all these pretty colors, right? So isn't it, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I love this ribbon. So this is the open weave ribbon in all five of our in colors. So we have, Oh my gosh, why am I drawing? That's a pink, polished pink, um, soft succulent. There is the fresh freesia. I see some pale papaya right there and evening evergreen. So our beautiful in color ribbon, we have a little, like I said, a little poof of one yard of each, a little sampler of our in color ribbon is going to be given away to one lucky winner. And how did you get your name in the drawing? You guys know, right? If you share the Facebook Live video, as many times as you share, that's how many times your name is in the little basket here. And then if you have not signed up for my email list, which is the best way to stay updated on everything that is going on, because that's my, my most used form of communication, I would say, between email and then posting on our Facebook group. If you get my email and you check out our Facebook group every day, you will stay up on what is going on, right? You'll never be able to say, Amy didn't tell me about that, because I'm always trying to get you updated on things. So sign up for my email list and your name is in the drawing here also. Okay. So, whew. so what's gonna happen, ladies, is as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna like collapse on the floor. Cause I feel like, I think I said this, right? I feel like I've been going like a million miles a minute and I'm feeling it. I'm like, ooh, okay. You're almost there, you're almost there. <laughs> ah! But no, it's summer. This is summertime too, right? Where you just go, 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 go. Cause there's always so much fun stuff to do, right? Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner, and she is, who is it gonna be? Miss Lisa Johnson. Oops, there we go, now it's in view. So congratulations, Lisa, you are the winner of the little sampler of the In Color Ribbon. So I will get that packaged up and sent out to you, Miss Lisa, so congratulations. And thank you for sharing the Facebook Live video. I appreciate that. Okay, so. I gotta find, oh, here are the others. Gotta get ready for the other drawing too. Okay, so I also 
want to give a warm welcome to our newest Inkspired Stamper, Miss Judy Cocarro. I want to like trill her R's. She um, has an Italian last name, um, so we like laugh about that because my name is very Italian, the last name, which I'm not Italian at all, I don't think. I'm sure, well, I don't know. I really, I haven't done the like any of those genetic testing things, but if I if I have Italian in me, there's very, very little. So anyway, um, but yes, Miss Judy Cocarro is our newest Inkspired Stamper. So welcome, Miss Judy. Um, congratulations on getting that awesome starter kit deal in May and welcome to our team, Miss Judy Judy. Um, okay, so let's see, I think, Oh, I want to show you guys. We have a couple of cards. So my friend Michelle, who I think she is watching, she popped on earlier. So hopefully you're still on here. Um, Miss Michelle, she sent me a couple of beautiful cards and I just have to share them with you because I love this card right here, right? With the butterflies. So while that designer series paper is already retired, I love like that layout, right? And she did such a cute job of decorating the inside of her card too with the little ribbon and that little butterfly super duper cute huh so love love that card right so thank you and she says happy spring may you be blessed with sunshine and happiness oh what a sweet sentiment right so thank you michelle for thinking of me and i love i love her cards and then so i think something happened because i well, I'm not always really good about checking my mail either, um, but I got both of these cards from Michelle, but one was like postmarked back in April, so I don't know, it took a trip around the world before it got to Alma, I guess, and then the other one was a May card, and says this one says, thanks for being there for me, and this is some of that In Good Taste designer series paper that carried over from our last annual catalog, which it's all that beautiful, it almost looks like, you know, they went to like a home decor um, Home Depot or something store and like took pictures of all the like tile and carpet and um, um, backsplash and all that kind of stuff and then like made paper out of it. So I love that paper right there too. Yes. Yes. Becky, yellow is your favorite color. I agree that Daffodil Delight is beautiful too, isn't it? Especially like fun, beautiful, springy, summery color. So then she says, this is a sweet, another sweet card. She says, hello, Amy, just another day to create. Yes. Yay. Love that. I love this color, which this is um, petal pink. If you guys can see, it keeps kind of zooming in and out. I am so glad I can send smiles through the miles when I uh, can't travel. Hope you are well. So very, very sweet. So thank you, Miss Michelle. Love getting these handmade cards. And I promise I'll share. Um, if you guys send me a card, I'll share it on Facebook Live too. So thank you, Miss Michelle. Like I said, I, I love getting cards and I really appreciate you thinking of me and sending sweet messages like that. So thank you. All right. So I think, are we ready to do, let's make sure here. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to do our next drawing for, I had so much fun and now I want to play with this even more. The Biggest Wish stamp set is what we're giving away. We played with this um, on last Friday's Facebook Live. So if you put an online order in through me of at least $30, you are automatically going to get the two cards that we created with that Biggest Wish stamp set, right? You're going to get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me, right? Your name is now in the drawing for the Biggest Wish stamp set, which like I said, I um, I just wanna keep playing with this because I love that layering, right? Like that happy and then birthday over top and then this, this one we did the happy hello. There's just something about that, like the block font and the cursive font and layering kind of over top of each other, right? So if you bumped your order up to $50, you also got to pick from, this is the, June, um, yeah, the June free embellishment, which are the genial gems. I love these. So kind of, I think this is soft succulent and pale papaya, some pretty gems. You guys know me and the bling. I always love the sparkle and the bling. I got to put it on pretty much every card we make, right? So you $50 order, you can pick from either this free embellishment or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. I think this one still says May because I haven't had a chance to print the June one yet. I'm, my printer's on the fritz right now. But anyway, you get to get the June PDF tutorial, which I'll show you guys. This is my project that you'll find in the June um, PDF tutorial. I love that hand, I think it's the hand pen designer series paper, and then that beautiful stamp set that I com completely, maybe color and contour, but I'm not sure, and the dies. Love, right? And this, this is my favorite, that scallop um, edge with the little 
it does have stitching on it too yeah if you can see right a little stitching out there too that's my favorite die of all the dies i love that little scallop edge and then with the stitching on it too so like i said 50 dollars order you get to pick from the dream demo design dream team tdf tutorial or the free embellishment right okay so the lucky winner i've got the names in here yes for um the biggest wish stamp set if you put an online order in of at least 30 dollars, your name is in here right now toss the names around and you guys i still i say this every once in a while right your chances are so good of winning because i do not get that many online orders so just know that if you're ever like oh it's probably one of like hundreds oh no 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 let me set that record straight lady you have really 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 good chances of winning anything that i give away um free with your 30 dollar order basically that's the fun thing like this is like a 20 some dollar or stamp set that you get free with a 30 dollar order if you win plus you get the cards that we demonstrated last week okay so here we go the lucky winner is who do we have miss teresa hinchman all right teresa i think you popped on here earlier i cannot get that to come in but if, there we go now there we go so miss teresa congratulations you are the lucky winner of the biggest wish stamp set so i will get that sent out to you along with the um cards that we made on last friday's facebook live plus she actually bumped her order up over to fifty dollars up to over fifty dollars so she gets the free embellishment too so so much good stuff for your online order so thank you ladies for your orders okay do, do, do. So you guys want to know what we're going to give away? You're welcome, Teresa. You are on here. Good. Awesome. Awesome. And Diana, I think I saw your name pop through there. So welcome. I'm glad you can hang out with us. Okay. All right. I'm trying to get things scooted over. I have all these, my like chairs for my table. I line them up so I can like show you guys stuff and then set it aside. So it's not so overwhelming when I look at the table, <laughs> but it's kind of the story of my life. I just get easily overwhelmed, I think. So Okay, um, oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys what we're gonna give away. Yeah, we'll do both of those right now. So, um, two things we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live video, right? So the first one is for sharing the video or signing up for my email list. Yeah, I totally forgot to do that. So, we are gonna give away, these are the awesome, these are the 2020-2022 square in color embellishments, gems. Yep, in color square gems, they're calling them. So in like last year's in colors that are still around for another year, aren't those beautiful? They're like all sparkly and faceted, so they like glisten and glimmer, okay? So share the Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list, and your name will go on the drawing for these gems. Then back to ordering, if you put at least a $30 order in, use the new June host code that's on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com or at least $30, use that host code. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this awesome. This is another fun one, the Create with Friends stamp set. So this is another one you could kind of build, right? So we've got, I'm gonna to try to do these. We've got amazing, love, celebrate, friends, and create in that beautiful cursive. Then, so building these sentiments, you've got together, welcome, be forever, day, your, you, happy, best, hello, let's, and ever. So, I'm not even going to try to come up with um, any of the sentiments right now <laughs> because, as usual, my brain is like fried. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, I know you could do this one. You could do your amazing. Woo! How about that, right? Because I like to say that. Or how about um, hello, friends? You could do that one. There are so many, like happy hello, friends. That's a cute one, too friends forever so many good ideas yes okay i'm i'm getting on a roll now anyway so you can see all the fun possibilities with the create with friends stamp set yours free with your 30 dollars order i'll put your name in the drawing and you could be the lucky winner of that stamp set okay all right i think i show you guys everything so we are going to, I'm going to show you the class to go, but I want to flip the camera down so I can show you guys everything that you need to know about the Sweet as a Peach class to go. And then we're going to make a couple more projects because I just couldn't stop playing with that Sweet as a Peach bundle. Okay. All right. So turn your heads away. We're flying through the air and we will have some more fun creating. Okay, ladies. All right. Let's see. How are we looking? Flip it over. Good. 
Okay, I think we're pretty good. Okay, all right, you guys can see me, right? Okay, so let me get my info here for you guys. Okay, so I think, uh, do I have everything? Yeah, well, let's see. So I already kind of showed you the stamp set, right? So here's the idea. You guys know we always make four cards in the class to go each month. So I'm gonna show you the cards first. You get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these along with the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. So we've got this one that is, hello friend, have a peachy day, or you could put whatever you want inside there, right? That's the fun part about these cards is you, if you don't want a hello friend card, maybe you want a birthday or a thank you, you could just put some, you could put like a little peach right there and then you could do happy birthday on the inside. So this is a great versatile stamp set where you don't have to do exactly what I've done in terms of sentiment. So keep that in mind, right? If you need all birthday cards, make all birthday cards, right? So here's the next one, this thanks so much. I don't know that I did anything on the, oh, I did. You're as sweet as a peach. Thanks so much, you're as sweet as a peach. So there's that one, look at, oh, can you guys kind of see I used Wink of Stella on all of these too? How about this one, this thanks so much. Can you see the glistening, glimmery? And then happy birthday. And then more Wink of Stella on those guys right there. So as you can imagine, we included some Wink of Stella, some Ribbon, the Elegant Faceted Gems, and the Sweet as a Peach Bundle. Ooh, plus, I have to show you guys the paper. This, this paper totally makes these projects too, okay? So let's see if we can kind of spread this out. So you can, yes, you've seen a lot done with the Sweet, but you haven't gotten it yet. Oh, Miss Diana, yes. There's so much good stuff. Look at even the paper, right? So there's the front side of, do I think I have six sheets here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Okay, so these are all the patterns. You get a quarter of a pack of this designer series paper. So I'm gonna take each six by 12, or 12 by 12, I'm gonna cut it in half at six by 12, and you're gonna get a quarter of a pack. So there's the front side of all of the paper, and then we'll flip it over. And there's the pretty back side of all of the paper too, okay? So you can see, right, all, of these patterns are what we used on these cards, right? Like, look at, isn't that, oh my gosh, look at all that peach yumminess, right? Okay, so let me tell you about the different options available, okay? First option includes the bundle. It includes a full bolt, this is coming all over the place, of the white crinkled seam binding ribbon, a full package of the elegant faceted gems, which you can see all the sparkly goodness on those, right? And oops, a Wink of Stella glitter brush, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? So eight cards total, plus the PDF tutorial, you actually get the designer series paper for free in option number one. So option number one is $81. All right, option number two is if you already have the Sweet as a Peach bundle, so you need to make sure you have the stamp set and the dies to do your own stamping and die cutting, right? But I'll give you everything else that you need. Option number two is $41. So it includes a full bolt of the ribbon, the Elegant Faceted Gems, the Designer Series Paper, the Wink of Stella, and eight cards two of each of these four cards, right? Plus the PDF tutorial. Both of those are available to be shipped to you for an additional $9 priority mail shipping. Or if you're local, just do porch pickup and that $9 shipping fee is waived, okay? Option number three is to get the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put the cards together. You're gonna do everything on your own. It gives you product detail, item code, color, dimension, everything you need to put the projects together yourself. That's option number three for $15 for the PDF tutorial. And any of my current Inkspired stampers actually get that PDF tutorial for free whenever they want it. So another great reason to get the starter kit through me or someone in my team, any of my Inkspired stampers. Then option number four is also for my Inkspired stampers. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? For just $12, they'll use their own stamp set and dies to do their own stamping and die cutting, but I'll give them everything else that they need to put the projects together, the ribbon, the gems, the paper, all the cardstock. Um, that is just $12 for those make and takes. And then the great thing about actually any of these options is if you wanna hold your own classes, use these cards. You'll have exactly um, the step-by-step -step how to make these cards. You can offer this to your friends, family, and customers as well. I love for you to do that. So, 
Okay, um, let's see. RSVPs are due by Friday, June 25th, and the kits will ship out no later than July 5th, or excuse me, July 7th. Okay, I think that's about it. Other than if you love these class to go kits, sorry, I feel like this is um, wiggling a little bit. Um, if you love these class to go kits, if you've gotten one on occasion, you might want to think about getting into the class to go club, which basically means you want to get one of these kits, either option number one or option number two, shipped to you every single month for 12 months. It's a great way to get lots and lots of cards made quick and easy because I put everything together for you, right? You just have to actually assemble the cards based on the tutorial, okay? You get $30 in free host benefits one month when you are the host of the In Color Club. Plus, I always love to send cute little treats out to my club members as well. So if you have any interest in this class to go or joining the class to go club, let me know. Plus you get those entries into the super summer giveaway drawing too for attending the class to go class. Okay. All right. Let's do some stamping ladies. All right. I'm going to scoot this stuff out of the way. Okay. Let's see. Can we get that all? Yep. Okay. Good. Yes. Yay. All right. Well, I'm not done talking because I still talk a lot while I'm stamping, don't I? But we are finally going to do some stamping, too. Okay, let me grab my grid paper. Got that. Okay, we're going to get that situated so I know what I'm doing. This and this. And that goes there, right? Okay. All right, so let me make sure I'm in view. There we go. Huh. Oh, Deb graduated from therapy. I love that. That's a great feeling, isn't it? Lily's working through her therapy too for her headaches also. We graduated from one part, but now we have to go to another part. So I know that feeling well. Okay, all right, so like I said, guys, we're gonna play with this sweet as a peach bundle. And let me show you our first card. Oh my gosh, featuring also that cute little scallop. You can maybe even see that a little bit better here, right? So I love, we had one of these dyes a few years ago and I was so sad when it retired, but they came out with a new one with that little, can you guys see the little stitching in there also, okay? So this is a fun little happy birthday. Have a peachy day, happy birthday. Okay, so let me show you guys how we're gonna make this project right here. And just so you know, that scallop edge, ooh, where is it? Oh, it's in my, it's in my little tub. These are from the scalloped contours dies, so it fits right across the top here. But these are all of the other dies that come with that scallop edge. You get all those cool rectangles with all the stitching and cutouts, and then those flowers also. Okay, so let's get some things out here and I'll show you what we are gonna do. Okay, here's my pencil too. Okay. So I've got some cheaty cheat notes here, but that's the die that I was talking about that's gonna go right on there. Okay. Mm. So let me tell you the dimensions first, okay? So we start with, this is a piece of Calypso Coral, full sheet of Calypso Coral cardstock, right? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter. And that's just doing like straight math, right? 11 divided by two is five and a half, eight and a half divided by two is four and a quarter. So that's how you're like cutting and scoring things, okay? Oops. So we've got that little baby right there. Now I want to, I'm gonna give you, well here, we just have a scrap of Calypso Coral Whisper or Basic White and then balmy blue cardstock. And then this piece of designer series paper that goes right on there measures five and a quarter by two and a half inches. And you guys know this, right? Over on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I will give you all of the dimensions, item codes, colors, everything you need to know to recreate these projects or purchase what you need to create these projects. That will all be uploaded on my blog this afternoon, okay? All right, so let's see. I am going to show you how to do that scalp, but actually let's stamp our have a peachy day because we're going to use the layering circle dies to die cut these things also. So we'll do all of our die cutting at once. Okay, so doo -doo -doo, we have our Calypso Coral ink and have a peachy day. 
we're going to just stamp that right there. And while we are at it, we are also going to, I forgot to mention, the Whisper White cardstock that goes on the inside, my standard measurement, five and a quarter by four inches. But what I want to show you is you have to make sure that you stamp down low enough because the first time I did it, my birthday kind of stuck out over here and I didn't like that. So, right, so we're going to kind of use this as our guide so I know how far down because it's a little bit lower than maybe I normally would stamp it, but that should be good. Okay, isn't that cute? The font too. More great fonts, the happy birthday, have a peachy day. Isn't that cute, cute, cute? Okay, so let's scoot this ink out of the way, and I don't think we need those any longer either. Okay, so this and this and this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, here, we're gonna grab our cut and emboss machine, and I'm gonna show you how I cut that scallop edge on my card stock, my card base itself, right? I don't normally, normally I cut on layers, but this was one time when I'm like, okay, I want to cut right on the card base. And actually I need to, I knew I was like, I know I need to do something here. But we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna put this, I want these little marks to come up at one and a half inches. So you can see this is kind of what's gonna be left over from over here, right? Okay, so we are gonna lay this down. I'm just gonna make a couple of little tick marks on here at the one and a half inch mark so that I know when I put this on, oops, I don't know if I marked that at all. There, there, and there, there that when I put it on my cut and emboss machine, I can get that um, lined up properly. Okay. So now I've got this little guy. I'm going to scoot that over. Okay. So on here, and it just barely fits. That was my other worry. was like, oh, am I going to be able to do this? But width-wise, it just fits on here. Okay. So now we just have to hope that um, it stays in place. So I got one little tick mark there and one little tick mark there. And so we're gonna lay that right on there. Put this on here. We're gonna be really careful to make sure that that little guy doesn't move. I'm holding it in place. Sorry, I know that's a little bit wiggly right there. Deb, thank you very much for sharing the video. I put your name in the drawing every week. I know, I think you said you're, you don't have very much luck with drawings. I never do either, but your name is in there. And one of these days you are going to get lucky. I promise it will happen. Okay. Look at, isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I love that little edge. It's just so, it's adorable, isn't it? It's just adorable. And there's a little extra piece that looks like waves. You could do something fun with that piece also, right? Okay. Now we are also going to, with our layering circles, we're just going to put those little babies down there. Okay. So here are my layering circle dies. Let's see if we can figure out. So this one was from there and that one was from there. So in terms of it's not the smallest, but it's the second and third smallest circles in the layering circle dies are what we use to do our have a peachy day and then our little balmy blue circle behind it. Okay. We go so sweet and simple you guys know me kind of a no 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 fuss no muss kind of card maker okay all right so we're gonna just get these so i think we're done with our die cutting so let's scoot this baby out of the way but yeah like i said you guys are gonna have to get these dies right that little guy fits right back inside there. These are a an absolute must have. Okay, sorry, I'm like futzing with this, but if you do not have these dies yet, look at all of the cool rectangles and all the, you can see some little dots, some scallops, some stitching, some little eyelet cutouts, so stinking cute. Gotta have those. What are they called? The scalloped contour dies. And I'll make sure the item code, it's 155560, so you can order those if you haven't gotten those yet. You gotta have those. Promise, ladies, you gotta have those. Okay, all right, I think we are ready. Are we ready? I think we're ready. 
to put our card together. So let's see. Okay. So, oh, and I'll show you those in a sec. Had to use some little symboling. Subtle. This That was subtle bling on this one, but we're going to add our designer series paper. Here, why don't we put that right there? You guys can kind of see it, right? And I can see what I'm doing. And are we in view? I think we're pretty well in view, right? Okay. So we're going to layer this baby. And you know, if you don't press too hard, you can kind of move it around till you get it straight and just where you want it. Okay. Oops. I also need to punch with one of these label punches. Can't remember the name right now. But we're going to use, I love that label too. Isn't that cool? There's something about that. Okay. And I'll have that name figured out <laughs> um, when I upload it. You'll know what that one is. Some label die. There's probably somebody on here who's going to look it up for me and tell me while I'm putting this together because you guys are so good with the resources. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep putting this together. Okay, so we just need adhesive on the back of each of these. So we're going to do our circle and then this one. Okay, so let's see. This one's going to go on here. I love this layering. The circles fit so nicely right on here. I can see making some kind of cute little treat and doing that layering like that. Okay, now we are going to add a dimensional just on this side because I want it to kind of come off the edge. And I was kind of being particular, getting it kind of centered in between a couple of those scallops. So it might be in a little bit different place than it was before, but you can see how my happy birthday got that covered up too, right? And then, so a couple of last little bits of detail. I am such a ribbon lover and embellishment lover. I, um, Basically, I'm always so excited when we get a new catalog and then I want to order like every single ribbon and every single embellishment because I love like looking at all of the ribbon kind of lined up. I have these little spools and then they're all lined up on there. Um, so I love looking at all of my ribbon and then the embellishments is just so fun to have one of each because you never know what is going to coordinate the best, right? with your project. Okay, so we just made a little bow. That is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. Came out in last year's catalog when Bumblebee was one of our brand new in colors, but still love any of that gingham, right? Okay, so we added a little bow there. I'm gonna have to trim that off just a titch, okay? Then last step, last little bit that we need is these silver and clear epoxy essentials. So we had something similar. They were just, uh, label me lovely. That could be it, Nikki. Yes, thank you. Like I said, you guys are so good with the resources. That sounds like a very good possibility, the label me lovely punch. I'll verify, but I'm thinking that that's what that one is. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so these, like I said, last time we had just circles. Now these are, they're epoxy essentials. So we've got the silver and we've got the clear, right? And if, I guess you can kind of see them a little bit better in the silver. So we've got some like kind of teardrop or water drops, and then we've got some circles. And then same thing, so I put the clear ones, almost like they're little, um, you know, like water droplets, and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle these around on our peaches, right? So almost, right, like they're just kind of glistening a little bit there, okay? So I just added a couple of those little, thank you, label me lovely. Thank you guys there, at Miss Sharon, I appreciate that. So can you guys see the little like raindrops, almost like, you know, the they just, they are, maybe they're dewy or something, right? Okay, so there we go. Card number one, have a peachy day. Happy birthday. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this one out of the way so you guys can see how pretty the paper is and the stamp set coordinates so well. And I need another sip of water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so next card. Love this one too. Yes, love the gems and the ribbon. I know, that's what I'm saying, Miss Deb. I can't have enough of those things. Okay, so this one says, sweet as a peach. 
thanks so much. And then we stamped the little peach imagery in there also. And I love how this one works too. We made one of these a couple of years ago. Actually, I think maybe Nancy brought this card idea to us to our Inkspired Stampers meeting. And I have this little stash of like cool um, card layouts. And so I like to refer to them and use them pretty often actually. Um, but they look so different, right? When you use like new product and different paper and embellishments and all that good stuff. So, okay. Let's see what we've got here. Let me get these things out so we're all ready to go. All right, let me tell you guys about um, the dimensions here. Let's do that first. Okay, because this is a little bit different. This is our card base. This is all we have. Philomena, I'm glad you like the cards. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so actually maybe I should show you this way. This is like a half a sheet of, so pear pizzazz cardstock full sheet would be here. I cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then I cut it again in half at four and a quarter. So this is our card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? So we lay that right there, right? Then we have a piece of Calypso coral cardstock that layers on there, and Whisper White, we actually have two of those, and I'll tell you why in a sec, okay? But the Calypso Coral measures three and a half by five and a half. That one's gonna go there. And then the Whisper White, again, two of these, three and one quarter by five and a half, because we're gonna back the Designer Series paper, which you wouldn't have to, but it gives it a little bit, it's a little bit sturdier than when you open and close the card, okay? So, this designer series paper actually is a little bit longer. This one measures three and one quarter by six inches, and then we score it at five and a half so that that folds down there, and then this goes right over top like that, right? And then this one goes on there, okay? So that again, this kind of has, a, it's a little bit more sturdy, right? This piece is gonna get adhered right back down on there, okay? And then I just have a scrap of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? So let's do our stamping. I'm gonna do my peach first, right? Okay, so on the inside, we've got our peach and our thanks so much, okay? And I did stamp off, so I inked up the stamp in Calypso Coral ink I'm gonna stamp it off, and I'm gonna put that right there, okay? And that's supposed to kind of happen, right? Um, that's just kind of the look of, you can kind of see on the stamp how that's a little bit lighter, and when I stamped off, it kind of happened, and then it happened again. So just know that, that there's not anything wrong with your stamp set, that's just how it stamps. It's supposed to have a little bit of kind of texture and dimension there. Okay, so we're gonna do our thanks so much. Again, beautiful font here. Okay, I feel like the camera is now right in my way, so we're gonna hope that that's pretty straight. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna add some leaves. Oh, I meant to stamp that one off too, but oh well, I didn't do it. You could probably flip it over and um, do it again on the back side. This cardstock is thick enough, especially when you put it down on the card, you wouldn't see it, but that's okay. It's just a little bit darker. I meant for that to be a little bit lighter, but that's okay, that's okay. So then we're also gonna do sweet as a peach. And you guys see, right? Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I'm not pushing too hard. Press straight down. Sometimes I use my finger, I'm not wiggling or rocking, and then I lift up, okay? That's how you stamp, ladies. Tap, 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 not squish, squish, squish. <laughs> okay, so because I'm so afraid I'm going to forget to adhere this piece, I think I'm going to do that right now. But I want, because I'm going to go along the edge here, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to go right down on here like this, okay? So I'm gonna add adhesive right along here. We're gonna do that first, and then we will build everything else from there. Do that one, I wanna get lots of adhesive on there, okay? All right. Yeah, I keep like second guessing myself, like am I doing this right? I really want 
that. There we go. Maybe that'll make it easier. Okay. So now you just are trying to kind of line it up. And if you don't press too hard, you could peel it up and start over. But I think that looks pretty even there, right? Okay, so we're going to do that one. I'm going to flip this up and I'm going to press it very, very firmly on that. Now we can add this piece right inside here. And again, this just makes it oopsie. Kind of went a little haywire there with my. And I want to give just a little bit of room um, so that I can actually fold this back over. Let's see, is that going to look? Yep. And so you might end up with a little bit there. You just have to trim that off later if you can see that. But that looks good and actually opens and folds nice and easy. Next, we can add our Calypso Coral piece. So we're going to put this one. And then this is going to help keep that flap down also. Okay, so we've got that one there. And then we need our thanks so much with our peach on the inside also. Okay, you guys seeing what I'm doing here? And I'm trying to make sure things are lined up so that when I, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, last couple of steps. Actually, we're going to do our die cutting. Let's go ahead and cut that little sweet as a peach. Get that one cut for us. And that uses the tasteful label dies, right? Yes, tasteful labels. Oh my goodness. Oops, here, let me show you. Let me pull this one out. So this was this one right here. There's one more that I've used on our club member treat, so it's not in here. But you guys probably remember these dies. I say this all the time because these are my most loved, love, 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 love these label dies. That's another one. If you don't have them, oh my goodness, you cannot wait any longer. You have to get those dies because you'll use them all the time. This is fun. because, And they're all a little bit different too. I think that's what I like about them. This one has a little scallop edge and some stitching. And I don't know, there's I almost feel like there's a little something else in there too, but it's so cute. So let's see, you guys can see that up close on here, right? There we go. Do you see what I'm talking about? The scallop and the stitching, it's so sweet. Love that dye. Okay. All right, so this we are going to, actually we're gonna do the ribbon first. So my little story about this ribbon, I have a full bolt and then I have a ton of, this is the, it's a petal pink, um, what are we calling it? The organdy striped ribbon. This ribbon came out I think last year in last year's catalog and I love it and I'm so happy that it's still in our repertoire, right? But the fun thing was, so Stampin' Up! used this ribbon on all of our gifts, all of our pillow gifts um, while we were in Maui. So I have tons, I'm like I don't get rid of any of this. I had to pull it off of everything they gave us and bring everything home. Did I start to tell you guys about that story too? That <laughs> we were packing up um, you know, getting ready to go. And I had a ton of, like, we had pretty much everything packed. And I still had a ton of stuff that, like, wasn't in any of our bags, including, like, this ribbon, just all kinds of random stuff. And I'm like, we are taking it all. Everything has to go back. So the kids just started grabbing stuff and stuffing it in who knows where in their bags. Kate at first was like, oh, we just can't take all this home. And we taught that kid a lesson about, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And <laughs> Lily and I showed him what a will is. <laughs> so everything that I wanted to bring back, we brought back. Where there's a will, there's a way, ladies. He was given up way too easily, and we're like, oh, no, okay, let, we'll teach you. This is how this is going to work. So it was kind of funny. We still laugh about that. Okay, so we just have to tie this big, beautiful, gorgeous ribbon on here. So just kind of adds, oh, I don't know, just some fun, beautiful texture um, to our card. And we're just going to pop that right on there with some dimensionals. And you know me, there's one more little bit that we need to do before we can call this card 
complete. I'm going to scooch that down maybe just a titch. Oops, that little backing still on there. Let me do that. Sweet as a peach, right? Oh my gosh, don't you guys, I love that ribbon. I just want to like continue to play with it, right? Okay, so then the last little step, I have a few of these myself, the Genial Gems. Again, they come in um, soft succulent, I believe, and then these are are um, not petal pink, but pretty similar. They're pale papaya. So I think you can kind of bend those and get them how you want them in terms of color, right? I love that, that um, they're not specific. You could call those petal pink. You could call them pale papaya, depending on what you need there. So there we go. There is our second card, sweet as a peach. Thank you so much. So how about that, huh? The bows go whichever way. They just kind of wing all over the place. So ladies, thank you guys so much. Oh, I don't know if I showed you. Here's our host code for June, the 7T9K BD9M, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And then also you guys will see when I post um, about the um, Facebook Live giveaway, I always show a couple pictures of the projects that we made. Where are the other two, right? So use the host code. You can get one of each of these cards sent to you as a thank you, right? Your name goes in the drawing also to win this Create with Friends stamp set with at least a $30 order when you use the host code. And then don't forget, you can bump your order up to $50 and get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishments, which are those beautiful genial gems right there. All right. Shoo! Now I'm going to go crash, ladies. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully you survive the heat. Enjoy the beautiful summer that we are having. Finally, at least here in Michigan, it happens. Every year it happens like this. It was I had my winter coat on last Friday night because it was so stinking cold. Um, we had a fun concert down in downtown Alma. Uh, but yeah, a winter coat. It was nuts. And now it's going to be 90 degrees. So crazy, crazy. It's how it is. So you guys, thank you. Oh, Brenda, hello. First time. Thank you so much. I love seeing new friends, new faces, new dames on the live. So thank you. I'm glad you could hang out with us today, Miss Brenda. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. And we'll see you guys all on the next Facebook Live. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.